blessed day guys and peace be upon this morning so in this video we're going to configure rip next generation routing for ipv6 okay so we're going to do rip ng next generation okay for ipv6 right okay so i'm just going to let you know that today we are in number 19 routing protocols uh part one rip ng next generation so without any further ado i'll open our notepad to let the step they're going to follow to achieve the objectives so the first step is to draw the necessary topology we decorate and comment i have three routers here and i'm using the 911 router and you can see the con comments site a and site b we need to achieve communication between set A and set B through RIP and G routing protocol. RIP next generation routing protocol. Okay. All right. So step two, uh, we need to enable IP global forwarding or routing. Okay. Before we conf configure IP addresses or in configure routing protocols, let's enable IPv6 addresses, uh, IPv6 routing. Okay. So it's very very simple and i'll do it very very fast to save time so to enable ipv6 uh, routing or global forwarding i'll just say no here and enable uh config t then ipv6 uh unicast routing that's all so i'll do it in another routers very very fast to save time okay so i've done i've enabled ipv6 routing on the routers so we can go ahead to configure ipv6 addresses on the router interfaces and include both link local and gua so like i did in the previous video where we were using static routing i'm only going to configure this interface and this interface for both link local and global unicast addressing okay so for uh for link local here i'm just going to use uh fair 80 uh, double clone one and then the other side i'm gonna use uh, f80 uh, double clone three okay all right so this link local this is global unicast address okay and between the routers i'm only going to use gua global unicast address all right okay so i'll demonstrate with one router then the other routers i do very very fast save time so for example this interface for this interface will take IP address in this this uh in this network okay so i just copy that that network and i uh, just copy all of it just make sure you copy all of it then you come to uh which interface is this one it's uh it's gig gig01 so uh so gig01 should take uh, an ipv6 address in that uh, in that network address okay interface uh gig01 ipv6 address before that no shut to turn it up no shut okay all right so ipv6 address ipv6 address ipv6 address link local first just say fair 80 uh, double colon one then specify that this link local then another ipv6 is global unicast address okay i paste it there that this is a network now ip address should be let's start with this one with one okay and you hit enter exit i go to this interface which is gig gig zero zero and configure this network okay such that this interface will take uh one uh, three one double colon one such and also this one take three one double colon two okay or right, so it's uh it's a gig zero zero no shut here we don't configure link local okay link local we will only configure it the one connected to the lan all the sites okay so just say ipv6 ipv6 add i uh, paste that one and change this to only one that way exit and do right good so guys basically I believe you've learned how to configure ipv6 address on the interfaces so i'll do it then very very fast on the two routers to save time all 
All right, so guys, basically, I've configured IPv6 addresses on the router's interfaces. Okay, all the router's interfaces have IP address configured. Okay, all right, so SEPO configure IPv6 addresses on the computers. Okay, and we're being told here to use Slack. Slack is stateless uh, address auto configuration. So Slack, uh, being that this interface is configured with IPv6 address, the two computers which is directly connect, which is direct, which are di directly connected to that interface, can uh, get IPv6 address auto configured statelessly. Okay, so I just go here, come to IP, IP configuration. Let's turn that one on. You can see IPv6 request successful. Okay, all right. So we just do this the, this interface also. And uh, same happen this side. So you can see currently the default gateway here is uh, fair 80 uh, colon 3, which was uh, the link local address of this interface. Okay, all right. But when it's going outside, it will use the, the interface, uh, the global Unicast address uh, of this interface. Okay, all right. So another thing that we're going to do here now, uh, test communication. We're going to try to test communication if the computers from this side can communicate with this side. So I go to this computer, come to CMD. Uh, you can't copy all of this address. So what to do, the shortest way is just to uh, get the IP address. Uh, just say uh, IP config, IP config, and you copy the IPv6 address. Okay. All right, so after copying, you can go to this computer here, uh, yeah, and you try to ping that computer, which is ping, and I paste that IPv6 address. You can see destination host unreachable, okay, but I believe it can ping uh, the fellow is in the same uh, network or the subnet. So to get the IPv4, IPv6, just can say a P config. And we copy this and we try to ping from now this computer ping. Yeah, you see it's ping because they belong to the same uh, uh network, local network, right? But being that this is a remote network, it requires routing protocol, and the routing protocol that we're gonna use here is RIP NG RIP next generation routing information protocol next generation so without any further ado let's begin configuring rip ng from this side to this side so basically what we're gonna do to configure rip in ip6 address basically it's uh different uh with the way we do it in uh ipv4 so how do we do it okay so we just click on this router and uh enable uh config t all right so how do we configure RIP for IPv6? So we just say uh, IPv6 router RIP. Then when you try to query, you can see we can give it any word. Okay, user selected string identifying the this process. So for example, let's just use uh, you can use any word. For for example, I can use twenty uh, twenty. Oh sorry. You can just use G, um, hmm, G20, right? Something like that. You can like, you can write anything you like, okay? And you just hit enter, then you exit. Then you enable RIP in every interface. So, for example, this is gig 00 and this is gig 01. So, you go and enable RIP in every interface. So, just enter interface gig 0, 0 and you hit enter and what do you say you just say ipv6 uh rip g20 this name here g uh g20 then you say enable hit enter you exit then you also go to gig 01 you do the same thing and exit and do it so we are done configuring rip on this router so we're going to do the same thing for this router and this router. So the uh, the quickest thing that I can do here 
just to copy this command that I've just written so that everything will look uh, everything looks uh, uniform. So IPv6 router rip G20, I copy it and I paste it there. Uh, then interface gig 00, I copy it. Oh, sorry, I copy it and I paste there. And now IPv6 rip G20 enable also. I copy and it there. Uh, then exit this interface and I copy for gig01. So this command will will be uh, the same in every router. Okay. So I just copy it and come to this router here and uh, enable uh, config T. Then I paste whatever, whatever I've just copied right now. Okay. So I uh, just paste. So do right. The first thing, make sure uh, you, you make the router where that is using uh, RIP as the routing protocol, okay? And then uh, enter the interface and enable RIP in every interface, specifying the unique number that you, the unique, the unique name that you, uh, you use to identify the RIP uh, routing protocol, okay? Then finally, we go to this router and do the same. Uh, enable uh, config t and just paste all right do right so i'll go back to the computer that uh, uh, we tried to ping previously but it failed so i'll go to this computer and try to ping this ip address that failed uh, previously so uh just good so you can see rip is working as expected so if i can just say ip config on this computer also IP config uh, in this computer IP config then I get its IPv6 address I copy and then I come to this I uh, come to any of these computers let's say this one then I come to command prompt and say ping good so uh, basically I think you've learned how to configure IPv6 address and to verify you can just come here and say uh, you can say uh, and 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 show IPv6 uh, protocols. So you can see IPv6 protocol used is RIP G20 with the name of G20. Okay, all right. So guys, I let you know that today we've covered uh, RIP and G. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, share with friends, and bye.